I'm not calling for mediation, but for the steady and long-term work of building structures of reconciliation, the capacity to deal with the nation's challenges in a way that brings peace and a future, even when there is deep disagreement. Since independence, Kenya has been a model for Africa, without coup d'etat, without civil war, yes, with problems and trials, but for the most part, keeping the peace. You know, in our world today, we need an example of reconciliation. Not only in this country, but in the region of which it is the leader, in the continent, around the world. This land is the cradle of human beings. Human life started here. You have the gospel and you've shown us how to live it. Your churches are vigorous and full. You live in harmony between faiths. Can you not show us how to be a country of reconciliation that we may learn? The Anglican Church and the history of Kenya are one and the same thing. From the creation of Kenya as a protectorate, to a colony, to our independence, we have moved together, shoulder to shoulder. Through all the trials and tribulations that our countries has had, the Anglican Church was there. In the critical days of the Second Liberation, the Anglican Church was there. All the way to present time, and the great contribution that this church has also made to health, to education, as much as spreading the word of God throughout our country and region, and also the peace work that has been done by the Anglican Church in the region, especially in neighboring South Sudan. These are all works that are very, very much appreciated. Let me also say that uh, I think we heard your message of reconciliation. And I hope that every single person in this room has also heard that message.